But da da, it is so sunny, it is so nice, it is so great, it is so Wales. I have lucked out with the weather. It's the Friday, it's day four, and that night and we're heading for Shrewsbury. And only like five more stations to go. This is gonna be an easy day as we do day four of the Heart of Wales Challenge. Except, <laughs> I thought you were joking. Ian just went, Ian just went, your train's been cancelled, and I went, very funny, ha ha. And then I looked at the board, and the train has been Yeah, canceled. I don't do jokes, Jeff. That's... You don't? No. Yeah. I've read your book, they're not funny. Oh, <laughs> However, it's all fine, because what I hadn't revealed to you early on in the week is that I've been staying, uh, with Ian, and on Monday, Tuesday, when Pont Doulas failed, yeah. at the end of the day, I got the train to Knighton, stayed at yours, in Prestine, yeah. and in the morning, on Wednesday, you dropped me off here at Knighton Station to get the early 6am train, That's right. which I got two hours all the way down to Pont Doulas, where I started my day and started the video. So I haven't missed Knighton, but haven't I just you? didn't include it in the video, because I started the video at Pont Doulas. So, what we've realised is that Ian can just drive me to Hopton Heath now and I'll just, which is where the train would have delivered me where I get a southbound train down to Bucknell and it's fine. Right, see you, see you at Bucknell. So we're okay with Knighton, did it on Wednesday morning. This is Hopton Heath. Some of you may recall, I have been to Hopton Heath before when I did least used Shropshire. But also, um, where were we yesterday? Kilmary? Ian and I got very excited about goats. Kilmary, not the only station on the heart of Wales might have goats. The private house here, which is the house, which is clearly the station house, has a little side garden and there's goats. If there was a Heart of Wales bingo sheet, we should have goats on the sheet. Tick off the goats. Do you want to give us a wave? It's the guys, men in the roof. <laughs> Here comes the train. Hello there. Hello again. I think you're right. It's Phil, right? Yeah. Hello, mate. Hey, mate. So earlier this week when I was starting my journey on day one, I did a tweet and I uh, added in Heart Wales line, uh, which are the people that very much uh, support the whole line. It's a community rail partnership going on. Uh, thanks to Rebecca that's there that put me in touch with a lovely gentleman called Sam, who lives here in this house, the old station house at Bucknell Station. And he said he'd be delighted to chat to me about what it's like to live in an old station house that literally backs on to the platform here on the Heart of Wales line. So we've come into um, the kitchen of the station house. I was going to say Hopton Heath, it is, but it's Bucknell. And you're Sam. I am indeed. Hello, yes. Sam. This, this is uh, Sam's dogs around here somewhere. So if you hear a dog noise in the background, that that we have a beautiful dog. You live in the old station house at Bucknell. Yes, kind of like an honorary station master. But the, the most hilarious thing, we've been chatting over a cup of tea beforehand, is that when you bought the property, you've been here how many years? Uh, about four years. They didn't tell you that it was a station house. They just said there's no back garden. Because yeah. instead of a back garden, there's a platform. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's like a real surprise when we turned up. We thought the house looked nice in the photos, days, um, but it was right on the edge of the area we were looking at. But was it not like Station Road Bucknell? Was there, was there no clue in, in the address? No, no. <laughs> No, it was a complete shock. And did you think we could never live there? Or did you think, yay, trains? <laughs> no, we, we walked in and instantly we loved the house. Um, and the trains were, we had no particular interest in rail. We weren't, you know, we weren't looking to be near the railway line. But we thought, oh, we can live with this. And then having been here for four years, they've really become sort of just part of life. They get into your bones a bit. So it's slowly kind of like, you, you, you can't, it's right outside your window. Yeah. You can't help but be like, oh, there's a, there's a train. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, absolutely. And our kids, you know, um, when they were younger, it was about, for the first two years, they'd run round 
every time a train came. You say you sometimes get the occasional steam excursion or, or like a freight train at yeah. night. Is yeah. that is that a thing? Yeah, yeah. Every few months we'll get a freight train, and they it feels a bit like an earthquake. Sometimes lights shining through the bedroom windows. They're a bit of a shock. <laughs> but you're okay with it. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just part because it, it's only every few months. It's just like part of life. A bit of fun. A bit of uh, interest. I, I mean, that's the weird thing. It gets five hard wells. Like there's the early late night services, five trains a day. I guess if it was every ten minutes, that would be very different, wouldn't it? Um, so about every two hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, they do come past really quietly, um, and we hardly notice them. So there's a lot more noise from the road. So for us, it really okay. isn't an issue. If it went to twelve trains a day, that'd be it'd be great because it'd make it a bit more practical getting up and down the line. And you do use the train yourself? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, bring um, friends. We we'll take them up and down the line for tours, and um, sometimes uh, I'll go up on the train for work. I need to get to other parts of the country. And so when people talk about their commute and you have to walk to the station, your walk to the station takes zero seconds. Yeah. <laughs> you step out. Can you step, is there a door, a private door you can step directly into the platform? Uh, there is. Um, I have been known to jump out the office window as well, <laughs> if needed. So <laughs> You climb out of your own window yeah. onto the platform. <laughs> yeah. And do you ever get people, you don't get bothered by passengers, do, do people sort of peer in the window like, oh, there's a house in there? Uh, that... I've had people try and complain to me about the quality of the service. I've had people turn up and say, is there a taxi? And it's like, well, I have had to give people a lift to places nearby no, you have... because they were going to be stuck otherwise. Yeah. So like a good Samaritan, yeah. you then, like, do you want to ride? So there's a, there's a school about three miles outside the village and, and there was a lady who turned up from China to visit her kid at the school and she got off the train here and I think the whole journey had been quite a lot more involved than she'd have thought. Right. And she turned up on a Sunday and said, oh, is there a taxi company I can call? And you won't just get a taxi at a short notice. I was like, I'll tell you what, I'll just, I'll just run you over to school. Um, <laughs> should say that Sam, I don't want to take the camera around his house because I feel like I'm invading his private house, but you've, you've shown us where the old ticket office was, which is now your lounge, yeah. which is amazing. You've shown us where the old urinals were, which is now where you store your bikes. Yeah. So your house is literally bits of, of the old. There was a fireplace, which was the waiting room. Yeah, yeah. Right. So when that's, the, that's great. Yeah, when they converted the waiting room, they ripped the fireplace out and it sat in the garden for 40 years. And it's a big grand Gosh. stone fireplace. And we thought that shouldn't be in the garden. And wow. we've put it back in the house. Okay. Sam, that's it. That was. That, I'm, I don't think I'm going to edit, edit that. I'm going to leave that all in. That's a clean... You, yeah, very good. First interview. Ever? Ever. You're very good. Do more TV and YouTube. Just start my YouTube channel, yeah? You should do. I, I can give you some tips. All right, we're going to talk YouTube. Sam, thank you. Thanks a lot, Dan. Amazing. We're out of room, we're out of room. This is the last time I see Phil as well. I feel like my bromance with Phil is at an end. It's, been, it's been emotional, Phil. There's, no, there's nothing at room, is there? No. Let's nice <laughs> see you later. Enjoy. This does pose but one problem. I've been to Broome before, so I knew what to expect. We made the video the least used station in Shropshire. Do you know, I don't actually know if it still is, but as the board is saying, that was the 1232. Came through at 1236. But the next one isn't until 1509. So that's like two and a half hours. Do I stay for two and a half hours on this nothingy platform at Broome? Or do I walk an hour to Craven Arms? So at this point, I did just walk from Broome to Craven Arms to go and do the last two stations. But as we're now joining the main line, the line sort of no longer has its sort of charm of being a fun, rural, single track branch, and it seems less fun. But some fun that you missed out earlier on in the week was when Gareth was talking about what Sugarloaf should really be called in Welsh. How are we pronouncing that? Dinas. So that's Dinas a Bulch. What does that mean? Well, I'm, I'm a bit confused. Um, I did see there is, a, there is a note on Wikipedia that says that the station sign used to say something like Penaival, 
which is a Sugarloaf Mountain, but it's not this Sugarloaf Mountain, it's the Sugarloaf Mountain in Monmouthshire, over by Abergavenny. And then there were all the clips I can't use of Ian because I have to put in loads of beeps. Gareth. Gareth, Ian, Ian, Gareth. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, I that up. Lovely. You can't say and I have to bleep Sorry, it. Sorry, I have to. Look blooming, blooming you get in, Jeff. Also, here's me being way too excited, even by my standards, about the visitor's book at Doll Eye. No, but me and Gareth yesterday did this whole thing, because TFW are like, yeah. Sugar, Sugarloaf has a visitor's book and yeah. stuff. But they put it there back about five years ago. And when we got the yesterday, it wasn't there. And there was even a whole 10 minute rail chat section between myself and Carl at Flambister Road, which never made the final edit. But you can have all these clips as a little bonus now. Which looks like the old LNER stock. You know what? I think it was all LNER, LNE, I can't even say it, LNER stock. Yeah. Because of the redness. Of, and so TF, TF, TFW have taken some oh, LNER stock. Red. Love that. I think so because. But they're running it on Manchester to, to Cardiff. Yeah, I think they've got four of them. The, the Phil, the guard, was saying they've got four, haven't they? TFW, they've got four sets. Were you chatting to Phil, the guard? I was like, yeah. Were yeah. you cheating on with, What? You were having train chat without me? Carl! Um. <laughs> <laughs> Which takes us onto my final train between Craven Arms and Church Stretton. I was going to wrap it up here, but that would be the wrong thing to do. It's just been a long week. It's been a brilliant week, but it's been a long week. And I think on, at the end of day four, um, it's, it's all kind of caught up with me. I just want to go and lie down, <laughs> just uh, sleep for a day. Uh, Church Dread, coming up. Here comes the door, Bing. And that's kind of it. It's been a very long four days, very intense, a lot of early starts, uh, but an incredibly fun and enjoyable week. Uh, so thanks to Ian and thanks to Gareth and thanks to Carl. I've got to Church Dredden. There's 31 stations between uh, Threnethley and Church Dredden and I've got on or off on them on a train at them all. This is the Heart of Wales line, Transport for Wales, links in the description. Follow at Heart Wales line on Twitter and also the Trouts. I'll put all links are down below. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, there'll be a map in my download area on my website. Again, links in the description and it's just been an incredibly fun week. A four episode special doing all the stations on the Heart of Wales line. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.